Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. And it's Longley in at the five, roaming the paint. Jordan misses. And so it's Ana Kumpo with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. And there's the drive. And Giannis throws it down. There are very few guys that move with the grace that Ante Tacumpo does on his drive. He's got an easy, long, ground-eating gait. It's very effective. Now here's Jordan. Pass to Rodman. Clock at six. From 13, Milwaukee with the rebound. Kumpo looking it over. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You know, no opponent is willing to give Kumpo an easy look. I mean, they want to make it hard on him. And he's going to get bodied up, and he's learned to accept that. So one for two that time at the stripe. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Damian Lillard picks one up. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Boy, the energy Ron Harper brings to his game is pretty impressive. I mean, it helps him make contributions on both ends because he's always putting forth great effort. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. And we all know what can happen when he gets rolling. A hot start can turn into an explosive scoring night. Here's Rodman. Here's Harper. Inside. Here's Longley. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Brooke Lopez. Longley is seven foot two. Nice job there using his size to get the defense's attention inside. That one misses. And the Bucks pushing it up now. And Lillard gets it to go on the assist from Kumpo. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And Kumpo over to help. Here's Pippen. Middleton covering. Pippen, no good. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Back to Kumpo. Down low. Middleton. Kumpo inside. Uses the glass on the layup. Kumpo's got seven points. Look, we know Giannis can get it done inside. Defense will have to try much harder to stop him in there. And Ana Kumpo over to help. Pass to Pippen. Jordan against Beasley. To the inside. Here's Longley. No good on the shot. Good D by Ana Kumpo. And so Ana Kumpo will bring it up for Milwaukee. The shot comes out. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Harper passes to Pippen. Here's Rodman. Middleton covering. And stolen by Kumpo. Harper pulls it in. Chicago trailing here. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Pippen. And again, Chicago, no good. Now here's Ana Kumpo. He's closely guarded. Out to Beasley. Back to Ana Kumpo. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Ante Tacumpo. I mean, he's really good at selling that shot fake. And so Ante Tacumpo nails both of them. 
We've got 108 left in the first quarter here. Timeout, timeout. timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. One oh two left to play in the first. Here's Kukoc. Middleton covering. Kukoc, the pass to Winnington. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Anna Kumpo. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Kerr. Here's Longley. And that one is stuffed right through. That's a heads-up play by Kerr. Finding the open man and getting him the ball on time and on target. Well done. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. It's good. They've played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. And, you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. Here's Pippen. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Here's Kukoc. Oh, he beats the buzzer just in time. Wow. Big time bucket, I'll tell you. Great clock management there. An ideal way to end the quarter with momentum on your side. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be right back with you shortly. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. The way they just continue to drive right at the defense, they've really been overwhelming them when they do this. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys? Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. At small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the five, down low. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. Here's Kukoc. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Six to shoot. Unloads. Lillard pulls down the board. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Here's Anadokounmpo, and the layup falls. Anadokounmpo's got 15. Another night we see Giannis at his best. This defense doesn't have a clue as to how to guard it. Kerr, pass to Simpkins. Here's Kerr, defended by Lillard. Here's Kukoc. That one rolls around and rims out. And so it's on to Kumpo with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. They lead by 11, largest margin of the game. No matter how aggressive the defense is, it is tough to stop the Greek freak. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Simpkins. Anadokounmpo covering, and stolen by Anadokounmpo. Giannis with a ferocious take. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over.
Out left to the wing. Rodman, the pass to Harper. Here's Rodman. Pass to Kukoc. Five on the clock. The Bulls with another miss. And the Bucks with possession. They've gone on an 8-0 run. Anadokounmpo. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Anadokounmpo's got 21. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Now here's Jordan. No points so far. Here's Kukoc. Fires for three. Rebounded by Lopez. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. So, Brian, this is year three with coaches in team-branded attire, and you ask them, they're in no rush to go back to the suits. The Heat's Eric Spolster said, quote, there's so much less to think about. I used to hate those dress shoes. The Pistons' Monty Williams said, quote, none of us can dress. That dry cleaning bill is gone, and you can pack in one bag. Brian. Hey, that sounds pretty good, Allie. Thank you. Shots good by Kukoc. This is who Rodman is, willing to do whatever he can to help the team win. Nice dime right there. Tries to spin move. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. And give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Here's Rodman. To the middle. And out of the Kumpo over to help. Here's Rodman. Here's Harper. Rejected by Lopez. Great timing on Lopez's part there to squat down that attempt. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Pippen, he's checked in for Jordan. There's a minute 12 left to play in the first half. Jordan's checked in for Chicago. Here's Anadokounmpo from the inbound. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. <laughs> Leaving absolutely nothing on the table right now. Their focus and execution has been outstanding. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. And it's the Bulls with the ball. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Pass to Harper. Jordan with it. Shot clock at six. He's now one for two with that bucket. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Here's Anadokounmpo. Lillard outside. Kicks it out to Middleton for three. Rodman with a rebound. Here's Harper. Spins. To the paint. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. The reach, the athleticism, the timing. No surprise, Giannis swatted that one away. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. 25 points and counting for him. They have relied heavily on his offense. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this.
And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. On the court for Chicago. And it's Rodman in at the power forward position. Over to the left wing. Back to Anadokounmpo. And they double up Anadokounmpo. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Jordan with it. And Lopez picks him up. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. Jordan misses. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Pass to Longley. Here's Pippen. Middleton covering. Longley, that's good. Longley's got his second basket on the night. He's got a big body, we know that. But Longley has an underrated skill set, too. And it's on to Kumpo off the drive. Rodman with a rebound. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. And it's Lillard with a ball for Milwaukee. On to Kumpo outside. And on to Kumpo with the stuff. The combination of size and elite athleticism on full display from Giannis there. Jordan, the pass to Harper. Here's Longley. Got it. Longley's got seven. MJ finding his man right there. Now the Bucks with it. The lead is 15. Beasley outside. Back to Anadokounmpo. It's Beasley on the wing. Good! And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Anadokounmpo's got his fourth assist with that last one. Beasley's gone a perfect two for two from beyond the arc. Inside is Rodman. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Rodman's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Oh, stolen by Lillard. To the inside. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And the Bucks with the possession here. It's a 16-point game. Pass to Lopez. It's stolen. Here's Pippen. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Pippen doing what he can to draw the contact while in the act of shooting. That's just a good veteran move there. So he gets them both. A minute 58 left in the third quarter. Giannis to the cup. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. And how about the power of Anadokounmpo? Dynamite whenever he takes it to the rim. Here's Pippen. Five points in the game. They set the pick. Shoots over Beasley. Pippen, no good. Pippen's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Anadokounmpo, right side. To the wing, right side. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Here's Lillard. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Anadokounmpo has got five assists in the game. Here's Harper, defended by Lillard. Kukoc, the pass to Rodman. Here's Kukoc. 
Just five to shoot. Here's Pippen. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Harper. The 15-footer is good. Boy, really good vision. Very unselfish. That's why you run offense through Scottie Pippen. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And Giannis with the jam. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Here's Pippen. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Fires the three. Here's Rodman. Rejected by Ana de Kumpo. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. And Coach must have had a really good look at this one. He called a coach's challenge for the out-of-bounds violation. And depending on the ref's angle, an out-of-bounds violation... The previous play is under the ball that's easy and quick to confirm on the monitor. Yeah, it's one of the main reasons the coach's challenge is... It. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. Out-of-bounds call. And the ruling has been made. They're going to uphold the original call on the out-of-bounds violation. And as a coach, it stings to lose a timeout on a failed challenge. But it's a risk worth taking to make absolutely sure that you're not going to lose a possession on a blown call. Shots good by Kukoc. This is what makes Kukoc dangerous. I mean, he has the stroke to knock it down from anywhere, including beyond the arc. Lillard outside from outside the arc. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Anadokounmpo's got his sixth assist of the night. Jordan against Beasley. Jordan, the pass to Kerr. Here's Bushler. Let's it fly from 18. That one rolls around and rims out. And that's a low percentage shot. And I'm sure he knows it. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Bucks ahead. They lead by 18. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Giannis and Lopez together down low. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the one spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Kukoc, a reliable shooter off the catch. He's got a nice, sweet lefty stroke. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, they've had no problem getting into the heart of this defense with the dribble. And they've made the most of their chances there as well. You know, something else that stood out to me is the fact that they continued to force it inside. They were intentional about getting that ball in the paint, and they were looking to score whenever possible in the post. Precision pass into the post. Well-earned assist. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. The drive by Ana Kumpo. Well, you got to have a plan for Giannis on the drive. I mean, he's extremely aggressive. The defense really unable to handle him. First free throw is good. And so Anadokounmpo nails both of them. A challenging stretch here for Chicago. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Bushler. Here's Wennington. Anadokounmpo covering. And that one drops. Wennington's got his first points of the night. When Wennington's inside, though, he's more opportunistic in trying to score, although he is a selective shooter. Lopez passes to Anadokounmpo. Kicks it out to Middleton. They shoot again! And they double up Anadokounmpo. Six on the shot clock. 
The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Tries yet again. And it's Jordan with the rebound. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. And so the ball out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Bulls said to the team. And he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide-open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. And Chicago has possession. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Here's Jordan, rejected by Lopez. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. Jordan's gone two of five from the field here. On to Kumpo inside. Rodman always active, always intense. He's a menace to opposing offenses. And he's always involved at the defensive end. Tries it from the top of the key. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Harper, Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Antetokounmpo has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. A big time flush by Giannis. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision and willingness as a passer. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Harper. Pass to Pippen. Jordan with it. To the middle. Rodman shot is good. And Rodman, a solid inside score. Picks his spots well and uses his body well, too. And so the ball out of bounds. Anadokounmpo touched it last. Yeah, he loses concentration just for a moment. Might be getting a little complacent sitting on this lead. Pass to Pippen. Three-pointer. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Now here's Beasley. Back to Anadokounmpo. Kicks it out to Middleton. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Anadokounmpo has got assist number seven tonight. Pippen, pass to Jordan, and he lobs it up! Taking flight, Scotty Pippen, going upstairs. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Rodman, shot is good. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Here's Lillard. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Oh, the strength of Giannis! Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Here's Jordan. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. You know, that was an excellent play right there, using his strength to power through contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. And the basket by Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo has got 17 now, just in the second half. There's 57 seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's Jordan. An easy two on the layup. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Now here's Middleton. Out to Lillard. Let's go with a three. Knocks it down from distance. And the Bucks lead by 15. 
This is what winning is all about, playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. It's both from the stripe. And this team expects Longley to take quality shots and rebound the ball, which is exactly what he does well. Chicago grabs the miss. Kukoc, the pass to Brown. Here's Kukoc. Wide open look. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. On to Kumpo inside. Yes, it's good. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.